Hey everybody, welcome back! Falcon, Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop, episode number five of I'm Correct here. We are trying to get ourselves ready for this um, competition coming up for the weapons. We have made a bow, which I'm not really too happy about because we had an RNG event that kind of ruined the overall quality of the weapon itself. But I also want to get the dagger ready for the competition as well. So what I'm thinking we do right now is actually go into researching because we have enough to make the level 4 daggers, I'm pretty sure. So we'll use that right here to make that weapon. And we're going to be using Bulk Bogan for that one. So you start the research there. We're actually pretty low on money too, by the way. So I'm a little bit worried about that going forward. Let's explore with um, Laura Craft over here. Rosette Peters is no longer elated, though. Now he's just neutral. Which I'm not that big of a fan of. You just went on vacation just now, and you're already kind of neutral? Come on, dog. I can't send you on constant vacations. What do you think this is? Uh, you're, you're here to work, all right? Not to have a good time. <laughs> Work is not supposed to be a good time at all, let me tell you. Well, I mean, ideally it should be a good time. You want to have fun at work, that's when you know you have a good job, when you're actually having fun doing it. Uh, but you know what I'm saying. Stiletto! Alrighty, that's done. You come back over here. We need to make this stiletto happen now. Ooh, the brand new Cycloth Drift. Let's try the cinematic experience. We are losing attack power to set Peters per day. That's alright, doesn't really bother me too much. So we have 10 days for this next weapon to be made. So we're going to be making the stiletto. Accuracy, or I mean speed and magic. Unfortunately, we don't have a magic station yet. So we're gonna go magic and accuracy on this one. So who are my speedy dudes? You are five in speed. Accuracy 58. Okay. You are speed 27. Accuracy 12. And you're my main speed dude. Alright, so I'm thinking we do this. Both of you here, and then we are ready to forge. We have 10 more days for this little to be made. It should be made in time, though. So we will start this off now. I'm not sure if we're supposed to sell the bows or not, or the weapons that we have for the competition. I'm still not completely aware of that one. We'll do a speed boost here, because I'm still holding on to the silver bow. I haven't sold it, which is the reason why we're a little bit low on money. I'm going to have Master Wong work on our speed here. Oh, nice. He only focuses on speed. Oh, a little bit of attack power. Uh, that's fine. It's only one. We're getting mostly... Ooh, 20. He went five times. Really, really good. Please, no random bullshit. Don't give me a bad event right now. Hero experience when selling to Steven, Steelmany, and Murky. Miso Marshes. Okay. Whatever you say, dog. So let's go ahead and speed it up here. That dagger should be done by the competition day. Since the competition's like, you know, nine days away now, maybe I should wait? I don't know if I should wait or not. Stiletto, yeah, let's just name it a stiletto here for now. Okay. So, since I'm not crazy about the dagger, let's go and sell the dagger then. I don't mind selling the dagger because it's not even a great dagger, really. So, we're so low on money too. So sell weapons, and if I'm right, the archer should be a new village. So we could sell the silver bow over here too. We're going with this guy, correct? Speed, bow, and axe. Um, yeah. Yeah, that has more... No, no, no. This is a more inaccurate one. Hmm. Back to the map. What about here, then? I guess we were focusing on this guy, right? The Huntsman? Maybe. Accuracy and bows. He likes both of them. So yeah, let's go with that guy selling that one. So the Silver Bow is what we're selling here today. Wit. Boke Bogan. Hopefully get him to level 4 finally. Start selling. Meanwhile, let's go and send an exploration team over here of... Almost level 5. So we'll send her. Alrighty. Let's see if this works out for us. Seller available. Archie, that's the one we're going for. Do it now. He's going to level up five times as well. Good. Really good. And you're back from exploration. Found a few items for us. Alrighty. Excuse me. Continue. Come over here. Here is our money, thankfully, because we're a little bit broke there for sure. Alrighty. <laughs> got some money here. We got 1740, as a matter of fact. Five levels for this guy. Level 8. Grade. Not bad at all. Eight day. We could probably even craft ourselves a... Uh, an axe for the competition, too. Now that we have a little bit more money. So, if we're going for axe, I'm thinking Bog Bogan and her over here, right? So you come over here, you are going to be... Ooh, we have more tickets. One more, and we unlock the next region, by the way. And you're going to stay over here in accuracy. Let's go ahead and forge ourselves a level 4 axe again. Yeah. So, soldier's axe, one more time. And... You're at level 20, right? Yeah. I'm thinking we go Soldier's Axe one more time for the competition here going forward. Let's go to Attack Boost, and we, how much money do we have? 2,000? Ah, uh, let's see. Who would just focus on attack power? Hmm. Stevie Flounder has, like, a few different things that he focuses on, if I remember correctly here. 
Is there a- Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Is there a way for me to know what these guys focus on other than attack power? Or is it just random? Uh, huh. Yeah, it doesn't tell me. So, let's go with Donald. Didn't he- was he like attack power and something else last time, or was it just attack power? I'm gonna go with Donald Macaronal, though. There you go. Attack power and speed. That's fine. At least it's still attack power, primarily. Give me a fiver. Yeah! Alrighty. I will definitely take that. 69. Amazing number. Potato Bunny hops into the workshop and looks up at you with twinkly eyes. Ah, Fluff Bun. Yeah. You got money from that, too. Good. Very good. That actually paid off for the Donald Macaroon old, um, thing there. And we're gonna be able to have this axe for the competition more than likely. For now, let's just name it Soldier's Axe because we're just going forward with it. Alrighty. Now, let's think about making a weapon to sell again because we want some more money going forward, too, here. And so we have an axe and potentially... Uh, a dagger for the competition, assuming they need to be in your inventory. Again, if you're letting me know in the comments, Falcon, you need to, um... You could sell them and they still show up for the competition. Just let you know right now, I'm actually recording these right now in one sitting, a bulk batch recording, so even if you're letting me know in the comments, the, the videos haven't come out yet, so I can't read your comments to know that, you know, it still applies for the competition, even if you sell it off. So, just keep that in mind in case you're a little bit perturbed about me not, you know, knowing this by this point, because it's still the same day of recording. Um, let's see here, so... Uh, level 18, right? You're maxed out, you are 25. You like speed and bows, we could probably do something for the ranger then. Let's make a light crossbow, or should we make another silver bow for sale? Might as well just make the silver bow for sale, right? Try to make a good one this time around? So, yeah, we'll go with ranger man this time around. Yeah. Um... Silver bow, we have all the items required for it. Attack power and accuracy. So, one second here. Attack power and accuracy. So, you will be my main attack person, and Bulk Bogan, you need to be a hand with the... Oh, at least seven in accuracy, huh? Well, I have no choice, because he's gonna be our main accurate person, she's gonna be our main attacker. Although, attack power isn't that great, too, right, for the weapon, or at least it shouldn't be. How's your accuracy? Twelve. As opposed to seven. I don't think it's gonna make the world difference, so we might as well just send Bulk Bogan here. So let's forge this silver bow. Start it up. And accuracy is what we're looking for here. We're gonna be using. Let's use Spud Luck. 12 accuracy, perfect. 12, 12, 17. 15. Only four, but we got some pretty decent numbers out of it. 56, I'll take it. So let's go forward now, let's get this weapon completed, sell it off for some money here. We're almost about to reach 900 fame, apparently. Yeah, yeah we are. So this is gonna be done now. There you go. Ah, uh, sure, let's just call it a silver bow here for now. Great for hunting werewolves, made from... made with sterling silver. Let's go to the world map and sell this weapon off here to New Village, I wanna say, because that's where Terry Treehugger's at. Speed and bow. Oh, wait, wait, no, we're not selling to you because you want speedy bows. I'm actually selling to the other dude. Accurate bows, yeah. So, you are my dude that I'm aiming for. So, silver bow here. It's like the submit. We're going to be going with Bulk Bogan. I should get him to level 4, I would imagine. So, you go off. Meanwhile, we will do another exploration here. Since uh, you're just going to be sitting around. This will get her up to level 5, too, hopefully. And there you go. The competition's almost coming up as well. I'm excited to see what that's all about. Now, you're done. Ooh, nice. More relics. And, yeah, come over here. Now, Bulk Bogan... You're gonna be selling over to this bad boy. He's gonna be leveling up to max too. So this will ooh, that'll bring him up to max, meaning he's gonna level up seven times. That's amazing. Yes, go with that guy. Alrighty. Here's my money. That's good, because we're a little bit low on cash here. We should probably start making some more weapons just for selling purposes, meanwhile we do other things too. Maxed out. Great. You come back over here. And we have five tickets, meaning our next region is finally unlocked. Someone left a large tank with a giant fish in it. The tag says, Wola Wola. Uh, let's move it into the shop. Yeah, speed, whatever. World map. Okay, we want to unlock and expand our business over to the Tower of Root Beer. Yes, unlock it now. Unlock it. Excuse me, sir. Hey. There you go. That was kind of weird clicking going on there. So we could sell weapons here, explore, vacation, and train as well. Ooh, new explorations for us. I like it. Back to the workshop and... What is that? Oh, we got an objective here. Sell weapons to, uh, to deliver a thousand experience. 
Oh, we got the objective from the fame as well. It's time for the Golden Hammer Awards. It is an annual event where the best weapons made in the year are acknowledged. Let's see if we won anything. All right, let's find out if I had to have them in my stock or if I could sell them after all. Now, here's the problem. If you could actually, if you're supposed to sell them to, for them to count, then keeping them in my shop has been a waste of time completely. So let's hope I'm not wrong here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the annual Golden Hammer Awards. This year, we were presenting the fastest weapon award, the most accurate weapon award, and the overall best weapon award. First up is the fastest weapon award. Oh, that's mine right here. Ah, oh, we came in third place. The Orochi Kamani beat us out. Ah, that's to be expected. That's definitely a more advanced. Um... Oh, wait a minute. This is one of my. This is my first dagger. So you did have to sell them. You did have to sell them. Because remember, we have a we have a stiletto in our in our stock right now. Ah, so you did have to sell them after all. If we had the stiletto, if we sold the stiletto, I would imagine we were probably either in second place or maybe even one. I have to look at the stat rating on it. Okay, at least now we know. All right, good, good. So, whoa, what's happening here? You guys are going over this shit? I could bribe people. Uh, keep bribing. Keep bribing. Keep bribing. Oh, I bribed. Ah, oh, for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna win, so whatever. I guess you can't do it too much without, you know, drawing too much suspicion. I get you. Yeah. Our, our silver is that? No, that's not mine. Ah, fuck you guys! I don't even care. I don't care. I don't care. Get it out of here. I don't care about this weapon. Yeah, yeah. Get on out of here. That's fine. I'll win the next competition, you jerks. Keep that in mind. I will win the next one. Best overall weapon. Oh, I mean, my, my Gimli Axe is here. <laughs> Way far from this um, carbine. Ooh, you can make guns. That's awesome. Uh, anyway. No, we're not going to bribe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Oh. Oh, so when she shows up, you can't bribe anymore. Ah, so it's not when she shows up, but when she starts doing that little popping in and out, that's when you know they're kind of suspicious of you, and you should probably stop doing it then. I get you. That's fine. Alrighty, hey, we learned. The important thing is that at least we learned out of this, so we have to sell the weapons for sure. Now I know, and I have actually a lot of weapons, so next year's competition, you pieces of shit, I'm taking, I'm sweeping the competition next time around. And as a matter of fact, let's go and sell these weapons now because I'm upset about not winning a single award. Now, who lives over... Oh, wizards. So, if we come over here, more than likely, we'll probably be able to unlock wands for um, selling, or at least for make creating for one. Alrighty. So, let's go and sell weapons. We have... What do we have for sale? We have the stiletto, so which is speed, obviously, and dagger. Is anybody over here looking for that? Speed and dagger? St um, Steven Steelmetty. Perfect. We're going to be going with him. So, stiletto. Select the smith. We will be selling it with um, Bulk Bogan. Have you dropped Bulk? I could have sworn you were almost level 5 next time around. Ah, uh, whatever. Start selling. So you go over there and sell that. Now, we could also sell the... No, we have an extra bow? No, we have an axe. Which is going to be for you, if I'm correct. You like axes and attack power? Let me see here if... There's anybody in New Village. You already maxed out. No. So yeah, let's go with... Him. Instead of selling it with Hulk Hogan, I'll just sell it off with Reset Peters as well. Get two of them sold instantly and get twice as much money coming in. Well, not twice as much money, but at least two transactions in one go. Let's forward time here a little bit. We have a buyer. We're going to be going with Steven Steelman. He's going to be able to go up eight levels, so almost maxed out. We're like a bit of experience away from maxing him out. Alright, and over here we're going to be going with this bad boy here, and he's going to be maxed out completely. Excellent. Sell that weapon. Sell weapons to deliver a thousand experience. That's going to probably hit this objective right now coming up, too. So, boom. Two thousand. Nice. That should be enough for the objective, right? 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 Yeah, it is. Perfect. Weapon sales seem to be dropping. I wonder if there's any way to make better stuff. Woof, woof. That's the son of the police. Uh, no, you can't help. You get your dog fur and everything. Oh, he needs to be fed, by the way. <laughs> My bad, doggy. I live with you, I know. Fur is everywhere, but seriously. Oh, hang on. What do you think the stove is for? Uh, what do you think the stove is for? Uh, let's fix it, whatever it's for. Oh, good God almighty, what happened to this guy? Who calls for the legendary enchanter Golarn Smith? Uh, was it you, little potato? Were you the spud who dared? 
Uh, it wasn't on purpose. Yeah, right, it wasn't on purpose. Everyone who summons Golar and Smith has one purpose. To make better weapons in their smithy. After all, only the best are allowed to work with Batata. Hang on, you know Batata? He's my grandfather. Or was. What do you mean was? He died recently. I wish I had a chance to meet him, but it's too late now. Dead. If the great Batata are truly dead, he'd be right here with me. Well, he didn't die here, I think. I'm pretty sure he'd be here if he were dead. The shop his, was his life. It's his life. Uh, what do you know? You're really a ghost. Oh, one second. We have a legendary hero who's visiting your shop. Answer the door. Um, how do I do this? Well, I guess maybe after we're done here, we have to go over here. You guys see this, right? Legendary hero is visiting your shop. Ooh. Or maybe unless it's this guy. That could be it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happening. So you need an enchanter. I need to start making better weapons. You need an enchanter. I guess so. But my shop has no space. Bah! Pish, tosh, rubbish. So on and so forth. The shop was meant for four smiths. You should have seen what it was like back in the day with your grandfather. Anyway, I can't help you with my enchantments as I'm dead, but I'll send my own grandson, Volundur Smith, over to help. Good luck, little spot. Yeah! We got the fort station now. Excellent. Let's actually open this up really quickly. <gasps> oh, good god, that's fucking Potato Cloud Strife. Is this Batata's shop? Uh, yes, it is. Can I help you? You don't look like Batata. Uh, no, he died. I guess you'll do. I need a sword. Okay, what kind? A big one, like this. Hey, don't put that back in your pants, Cloud. Hmm, six feet long, 160 pounds, solid steel, material slots. Yeah. Oh, wow, they're really big. Man, I've seen bigger. <laughs> no, I have not. I'm not sure I can make something like that, sir. Just get it done. Uh, okay, but I need your name under receipt. Cloud. That's all you need to know? Once the job's over, I'm out of here. Preferably to another spoof universe where I'm, a, I'm not a potato. Okay, Mr. Claude, one busted sword coming right up. What do you need this for anyway? I need to find the flower girl. Oh, the flower girl. You play or you? Where'd you meet her? Did she deliver your flowers in the wrong girlfriend? Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, let's see, I'll go with the first one. I don't need to explain myself to you. I hate to break it to you, but the flower girl dies in the end. You'll have wasted lots of time training her for nothing. Hashtag spoiler alert. Oh. Ooh, I hope you guys have played Final Fantasy VII. She doesn't really die at the end, though, guys. Well, I guess she... <laughs> I'm not sure if she really dies per se. But something happens. Don't be a smartass. You can get killed for hashtag spoilers. Go, okay. I'll go make your sword now. So you got a legendary weapon request. Uh, The Sundere Soldier. Is that sun Sundere? Sundere? Uh, I'm not sure what my Japanese words here. Claude Strife. Claude needs a new weapon to find his flower girl, but he's not going to admit that. So he requested the busted sword, which is gonna... Ooh, my lord. A lot of attack power and a lot of speed. I'll get some item here as a reward, 2000. Okay. So I guess we'll accept it, but... Can we make that happen now, or do I have to make it happen now, or what? Smith power up. You can now strengthen your smiths. Ooh. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking we do, guys. We're gonna wrap it up here, because there's a lot of new things I need to kind of probably research to make this, um contract with Claude, the potato strife happened. So I'm going to look into this off camera. I'm going to wrap it up here for today. This will be one sitting, five episodes. Again, if you want to see more of um, Holy Potatoes down the line, let me know by leaving me some comments and leaving their likes and thumbs up. All that good stuff lets me know that you guys want to see more of it on the channel. And again, if you want to see more of it, it'll be coming out more often than not. But for now, I'm wrapping it up here. Remember, the first five episodes, which I'm ending right now, were recorded on the same day. So if you've been leaving comments about like Falcon, this is how you do this. You should be focusing on that. Just to let you know, I haven't read those comments yet because they haven't necessarily happened at this moment. But I will be looking at comments after these first few episodes that come out and um, adapting to your advice. And I'm also going to look some stuff up right now, too. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.